Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Ben Morgan and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to find pi or the ratio of a circle's circumference divided by its diameter using Python and we're going to be doing this right inside of Blender uh, since you know most of you guys have Blender and um, yeah it's just going to be a you know simple little programming tutorial and you know hopefully maybe you'll learn some math from it too. So after extensive search for uh, a Pi Day presentation that I did in my calculus class, I found this website. It's called math, mathcentral.urgina.ca, and basically it shows you the law of cosines and how it relates to an n-gon. And I figured out that if we use this equation right here, c, uh, c being... Um, the length of the side on an n-gon, c equals r times the square root of all that. If I use that inside of Python, but I, if I solved for r, I would be able to give this program c and n, or the number of sides and the length of each side, and find the radius based on that. And then if I were to double the radius, I'd be able to have the diameter, and then the circumference obviously is just the you know, perimeter of the circle. So um, I was able to figure out, you know, how we could do this. So if you were to solve for r, it would look like c or length divided by, you know, the square root of 2 minus 2 times the cosine of 360 degrees over n. Um, so, you know, that's, you know, what you got to do. <laughs> and uh, I spent like probably a weekend trying to figure that out. But when I did, I got excited, <laughs> like, it was very nerdy of me, but um, this, this little thing right here is what we want, got my fancy new pen, yeah, all right, so, back in Blender, we're going to go to the scripting window, and you're going to make a new script, and we're also going to open up our system console, so window toggle system console to bring up that. And we're just going to lower, uh, minimize that for now. And let's get started on doing this. So we're going to have to do some math functions in this because we're going to be doing square root and having to find the radians of something. So why don't we just import math? I wish I could just import calculus in my calculus class because that would be great. All right. So next we're going to find, we're going to define a... A method called estimate pi, okay? Def estimate underscore pi. And we're gonna give this method a length and an n. So the length of each side and n being the number of sides of the polygon or the circle. And uh, by the way, I think this is called Archimedes method that I'm finding pi with right now, in which you, you know, increasingly um, raise the number of sides on a on a polygon polygonal circle until it approaches 3.14 159 um, and just so you guys know in the end this program will be able to estimate pi to I believe seven digits so it's not totally accurate but it's you know pretty accurate so um, okay the first thing we're gonna do is do radius we're going to have a vari variable called radius equals, and again, this is based on us solving for r in this equation. So we're going to divide by um, this whole, you know, little part. And if we divide by that, we'll be able to have r isolated. So it's, uh, you know, little algebra. Um, but to translate this all into code is kind of complicated, but we'll get through it. <laughs> we'll get through it together. Um, so radius equals, and we're actually, we're actually going to call a float function to this so that we'll have a more accurate, um, more accurate number. Okay. If we were to not do that, then it would treat it as, you know, a less accurate number. So radius equals float. And inside of this, we're going to have length. Okay. Actually, let's delete that parentheses. Length divided by 
parentheses, math.sqrt for square root, parentheses, 2, 2 minus 2, or 2 minus, and then in parentheses, 2 times, and then again in parentheses, math dot cosine, and I turned on um, wrap so that it would go on to the next line. That does not affect the white space in the Python method, so you don't have to you know, worry about that. But this little thing right here will make it so that it'll all fit on your screen. Math dot cosine, and then in parentheses, and then another parentheses, math cosine, cosine, parentheses, oh, I'm sorry, math dot radians, you have to find the radians of 360, and divided by n, and then enter all these parentheses until you get this one highlighted, like so, which is a lot of parentheses, I gotta say. Okay, so that's that. That's how we find the radius of any n gon, okay? <clears throat> Now, we're going to find the diameter by multiplying the radius by 2, right? Because if you have, if you have a circle as well drawn as that, then you have r, 2r is the diameter, math. OK, so diameter equals 2 times radius. The circumference is going to be the length times the number of sides, right? Because if you have a square, you know, the perimeter of a square is four times the length of each side, which would be n. So length times n. And now finally, we're going to return a float circumference divided by diameter. And that is pi. It's the ratio of a circle's circumference divided by its diameter. So why don't we try this out? If we were to print the string of what occurs if we were to estimate pi uh, with side lengths of 1 and there being five sides five sides if it was a pentagon. Let's see what happens. So let's save this. Not the Blender file, but the text file. Save. And make sure you have your system console opened. I just closed it by doing that. OK. And let's run script. You see it says 2.938, so it's kind of close to 3.14, but I want to get 3.14. So why don't we increase this by a uh, power of, you know, or by, you know, a uh, multiple of 10. So why don't we do 50 sides and run the script? Let's see what happens. 3.1395. That's pretty close to pi. What if I increase this to 50,000? And ran the script. Well, 3.14159. Now, I actually don't know pi to that many digits, so let's Google search pi and see what it is. 3.14159265359. Why don't we go ahead and copy that and paste this as a comment. You can do a little hashtag and then control V. Let's see how close we can get. Let's see if this is correct. 3.14159265.9. Okay, so after the 5, it gets incorrect. What if we increase this even more? Okay, right now we're at 5 million sides, which is a lot. That's basically a circle. 159.3614. Yeah, so you can see after we get past a certain point, it starts becoming inaccurate. 
you can see that it you know starts getting inaccurate even sooner than it was before um, so you know then that it's not you that did something wrong it's actually the computer okay the computer it's it's really hard to explain but there are like certain number functions um, and the way memory is stored in a, on a computer I'm actually not gonna explain this I don't really know <laughs> um, it's it has to do with how memory is stored on a computer so we, you can see we're accurate to 3.141592 five and then it's three five nine and then after two six five we get inaccurate so we estimated it to one two three four five six seven eight digits so even more than um i predicted that it would be um so yeah that's that's how you do it <laughs> so um uh personally when i found this i was really excited i thought this was pretty cool <laughs> so 3.141592.65 is what we were able to estimate to um, uh, with a side with sides of 50,000. And now you could, if you wanted to, um, find the absolute, like where you can, um, what is the max, like what number of sides will give you the most accurate interpretation of pi. Um, like where is the, th the threshold and you could probably do that pretty easily by increasing the number of sides until you you know got I don't know to here or something I don't, I don't know if that would be able to work but yeah right now that's how accurate you can make it so thank you for watching this tutorial my name is Ben Morgan and this was how to calculate pi using Python thank you for watching